Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I apply my pressed powder foundation or my pressed powder foundation routine. I know I just recently did uh, an updated like how to apply bare minerals, loose powder foundation, but I still get a lot of questions on how to apply press powder foundation and press powder foundation is honestly in my opinion a little bit more convenient than loose powder foundation uh, you don't have to put as much work into it if you are using a uh, good powder foundation that obviously sits well on your skin uh, but I add a little bit of um, like a few tweaks I guess I should say to my pressed powder foundation that you won't see me do in my loose powder foundation routine and that's because pressed powder foundations tend to be a little bit more mattifying and flat on the skin and since I have dry skin I have to make sure uh, that I go and do some back work first to ensure that uh, you know it just looks nice and fresh on my skin throughout the day so I'm going to share that routine with you guys in this video it's super easy and then I'm just going to show you the rest of my makeup how I did this it's like everyday makeup uh, so if you're interested let's go ahead and start okay so I have already moisturized my skin if you have dry skin and you plan on wearing powder foundation on the reg you definitely have to moisturize beforehand and I would definitely suggest a thicker cream I've been using the shortlist beauty Beauty cream this is a new brand new product that I've just been testing out so far so good uh, but if you are dry definitely make sure you moisturize your skin very well beforehand so moving on in this is my routine and my routine is just so different from wearing loose powder to press powder uh, I actually do not use a primer on my face when I use pressed powder just because it stays on my skin regardless. I always find that pressed powder just stays on really nicely. But to ensure that I have this kind of layer of moisture underneath my skin and that my skin doesn't get dry throughout the day with the powder, I actually apply a little bit of my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. So Complexion Rescue, you guys know I love this. It is... Um, kind of like a tinted gel from Bare Minerals if you're not familiar with it and it basically hydrates your skin throughout the day so uh, it's supposed to improve your skin's moisture level by like 200% after you wear it uh, for I don't know like three days love this product it is a holy grail so I take about a pea size amount like this and I just buff it in with um, my brush and I love this combination because a it keeps my skin really moisturized and hydrated throughout the day and B I almost feel like my powder just kind of melts in with it and it looks a little bit more creamy on the skin um, so yeah this is kind of a strange step that I take but it's just I don't know it's just fast and it's it's easy and it's what I've been doing so you guys wanted to see what I've been doing this is it so my pressed powder foundation of choice is normally the mac studio fix uh, powder foundation i do like the bare minerals bare pro uh, with the complexion rescue underneath so i just swap out but if i had to pick between the two i would always go back to mac studio fix it's just my all-time favorite uh, if you guys want to see my favorite powder foundations i just did a video over that so i will list it down below um, so basically this is self-explanatory. I just buff this into my skin. The brush though that I've been using, <laughs> really weird, really weird, but I love it. It just applies the powder so smoothly. It's actually the It Cosmetics blush brush. So I've used this brush for everything but blush. I normally use this for bronzer, but recently I have been using it with my powder foundation. It just looks so good so all I do is I just swirl my brush in and then I just start buffing uh, the product into my skin and it just lays so beautifully over the complexion rescue I absolutely love it and if you're wondering what my current shade is in each of these products in complexion rescue I'm about a wheat which is a 4.5 and in uh, Mac studio fix right now I am about an NC 25 NC 30 this is NC 25 um, it's just what I have honestly it's looking like it matches pretty well so 
will go with an NC25. Uh, and literally, this is this is why pressed powder foundation is so much easier. You you don't have to put any effort into it. With loose powder foundation, especially bare minerals, you have to make sure that you buff into the skin really well to get it to kind of melt and turn into a cream formula. With pressed powder foundation, you don't have to do that. It's like immediate coverage. Um, it generally lays really uh, nice and flat on the skin. You don't have to worry about it emphasizing pores. And so a lot of the times I do reach for my pressed powder foundation over my loose, um, just for like a convenience factor. So on a day-to-day -day basis, this is pretty much all I would do. Um, I would just put on a little bit of bronzer and mascara and that would be it. But for the purpose of kind of getting a little bit more in depth, uh, I know some people are interested in concealers. Uh, generally with a pressed powder foundation and for daily wear, I prefer to uh, just to use a powder concealer or a lighter shade of powder foundation. And so what I mean by that is um, like I'll take my NC20 powder foundation and I'll use that underneath my eyes just to highlight, or I'll take my Bare Minerals Well Rested. Uh, just It, it just kind of depends what is in front of me. And I know that using another powder foundation as a concealer sounds a little bit strange, but um, for me, I just don't have to necessarily conceal much underneath my eyes, so I use it for a brightening purpose. Uh, so I guess I'll show you how I do that. Um, like I said, I just take my lighter powder. This is actually NW20, it's not NC20. Um, I like this underneath my eyes because it adds a little bit of that pink undertone, like that corrective undertone. And basically what I do is I take my trusty Real Techniques contour brush, I swirl a little bit around in here, tap off the excess, and I just sweep the powder underneath my eye. And it basically just adds a little bit of a highlighted effect. Um, and I just, I get asked all the time, well, like, how do you highlight or how do you conceal your under eye area um, if you put on powder first? Technically, you can use a um, cream concealer on top of powder. Uh, I do it all the time. Now it's not like something I would do every single day, but for like a really flawless under eye look, um, I apply concealer, cream concealer, liquid concealer on top of powder all the time and I don't have a problem with it, but it's a per personal preference thing. So you'll just have to try it out for yourself to see if you like it. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Well Rested underneath my eye. I don't think the, um, NW20 shade is bright enough for me right now, so I'm just gonna mix a little bit of my Bare Minerals Well Rested. Okay, so that is literally all I do. Um, I apply Moisturizer, Complexion Rescue, and I buff my pressed powder into my skin. And um, that is that is like totally it. It's the easiest thing. Uh, most days I don't even bother with adding the extra powder underneath my eyes for concealer, uh, but I just wanted to show you that technique just in case you felt like you needed a little bit more. Uh, I am going to do a quick little run through and kind of speed things up and just show you the rest of my routine because I feel like you guys will want to know. Um, but the last thing that I 100% always do when I wear powder foundation after I'm done with my entire face is I make sure I use a setting spray. And this is again, kind of a dry person thing. Um, since I am pretty dry, I kind of want to melt down the foundation or the powder and make it look a little bit more skin-like. So if there's some, you know, excess powderiness going on on the face, definitely have a setting spray on hand. I use everything. I have like four in front of me right now. I have the Caudalie Grape Water. I have the Urban Decay B6. I have the Vitamin Charged Urban Decay Spray. It really doesn't matter, just as long as you have a setting spray. And as you can see, I'm literally using the same brush I used for powder foundation for my bronzer. I mean, this brush is legit, you guys. I mean, you can do an entire face of makeup with it, and I'm not even joking. Um, and I probably sound like a lazy person right now, but I mean, let's be honest, like nobody wants to take an hour to do their everyday makeup. So why not scale down your brushes while you're at it?
for my pressed powder foundation routine at least my everyday routine uh, very similar to my loose powder foundation routine I just add a few tweaks to make it fit my skin type a little bit better since I am on the drier side uh, I know this was super simple but that's that's how it always is and that's why I feel like I always go back to powder foundation because it's just like a one and done thing it is so easy and I just feel like it lasts the best on my skin throughout the day it always looks the best um, so yeah, that is it. If you have any questions about the process, anything uh, I didn't cover, even though, like I said, this was a pretty chill video, uh, leave that in the comment section down below and I will get back with you guys uh, as I'm going through and reading the comments. So thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.